Welcome to Anywhere Math, I'm Jeff Jacobson, and today we're going to talk about the percent equation. Let's get started. Before we get to the first example, let's talk about the percent equation. The percent equation is A equals P times W. Now, A represents the part. P represents the percent, but we write the percent as either a fraction or a decimal. So that's really important. We don't write it with the percent symbol. So percent as a fraction or decimal. And then W then is the whole. So we have the same pieces that we would use when we're solving percent problems with proportions. It's just written a different way. Let's get to the first example. All right, example one. What number is 24% of 50? Now, before I show you how to solve this with the percent equation, I want to show you that it's the exact same thing as solving with a proportion, just kind of one step uh, ahead, if you want to think of it that way. So if we were going to do this as a proportion like we did in the last video, well, 24% would be 24 out of 100 equals uh, what number is, that's the part. So that would be x over 50 is the whole. So my proportion would look like this, x over 50 equals 24 over 100. Now, if you were going to solve this, Right? We would solve the proportion either with cross products or, um, or simplify and then hopefully use some mental math. But you can also solve it just kind of using some algebra. Right, If you think about it, this is an equation. If I want to get x alone, solve for x, well, I would multiply both sides by 50. Right. So if I multiply this side by 50 and this side by 50, those cancel out. And I'm left with x equals 24 over 100 times 50. Okay. This is the exact same thing as the percent equation. So let's talk about that. Remember, the percent equation was A. Maybe I'll do it in red. We'll change. The percent equation was A equals P, written as a percent. Right, the percent written as either a fraction or a decimal times W. A is the part, W is the whole. If you look at it like an equation, like writing an equation, well, what number, well, that's my variable, that's A, is means equals, so that's equals, my percent, that's the P, so I can either write that as a decimal or a, or a fraction. Let's write it as a fraction, that would be 24 over 100 of means multiplication times 50. Exactly the same, right, as what we got after we kind of did that uh, one step from our proportion. It's exactly the same, right? So this is just a different way to solve the same type of problem without using a proportion with using an equation. So let's finish this. Let's solve for that part. Uh, so here, we left it over 100. We haven't simplified because right here, it's very simple. That becomes 1. That becomes 2. And 24 divided by 2 is 12. And let's see if that makes sense logically. So we're saying 12 is 24% of 50. Well, 24% is almost a quarter, almost exactly 1 fourth. 1 fourth of 50, is that about 12? And yeah, it is, right? If I multiply that by 4, that's 48, which is very close. So that makes sense. So there is our answer. Let's try another example. Okay, example 2. 9.5 is what percent of 25? Let's just use the percent equation, not worry about proportions. Uh, so here we go. 9.5 is means equals. What percent? That's what we don't know. That's going to be our variable P. Of means multiplication of 25. So 9.5 is the part, 25 is the whole, P 
is the percent. And remember, that's representing percent as a decimal or a fraction. That's really important. Well, here we have an equation. I'm solving for P. So to get P alone, I'm going to divide both sides by 25. Then I get P is equal to, well, 9.5 divided by 25. Let's go ahead and do that. 9.5 divided by 25. I don't mind that there's a decimal there. That's okay. Uh, 25 into 9, 0 times, but 25 into 95 would be 3. At 75, I get 20. Add a 0, bring it down, and 25 into 200 is going to be 8 times. So P is 0 0.38. We're not quite done. Remember, this is asking what percent. So 0 0.38 as a percent then is 38%. That's really, really important. I put a big star next to kind of that last step. Remember, if you're solving for a percent, once you get a decimal or if that's a fraction, your last step is then to change it back to a percent. Let's try one more example. All right, here's our last example. 39 is 52% of what number? So here we go. Let's start to translate it. Uh, 39 is is equals 52%. We're going to write that as a fraction or a decimal. In this case, I'm going to write it as a decimal, 0 0.52. And I'm going to show you why in a second. Uh, of what number? So that's going to be our whole, so 0.52w. And the reason, hopefully now you can see, the reason I wrote it as a decimal is I'm not multiplying it by any number. It's just W. Uh, if I had a number here, maybe I write it as a fraction so that I could maybe hopefully uh, simplify it with that. But because I'm going to be solving this by dividing both sides by 0 0.52, it's a little bit easier to work with as a decimal. So again, yes, we're solving for W the whole. So I'm going to divide both sides by 0 0.52. Okay, that goes away, and I'm left with W equals, let's do that, 39 divided by 0 0.52. 39 divided by 0 0.52. Now, I do mind dividing by a decimal. I don't want this to be a decimal, so I'm going to move the decimal point twice to the right. Do the same thing here, 1, 2, which makes that 3,900. There's the decimal point there. So now it's 52 uh, into 3,900. So 52 into 39, no, 52 into 390. That's going to go, what, 7 times? 7 times that's 14, 35, 36. Uh, subtract, 8, that's 6. 26, bring down that last zero. 52 into uh, 260 goes five times exactly, right? That's zero, one, 25, 26, yeah. So finally, W is 75. And remember, this is what number. So I don't need to do anything to that. That is just 75. And if we want to think, does that make sense? So 39 is 52% of 75. Yeah, 39 is about half of 75. And 52% is just about half, just about 50%. Good. Here's some to try on your own. Thanks so much for watching. And if you like this video, please subscribe.